Mary turned on the security camera and watched the replay. A man had come in before she entered the house. He took off his mask and it was the security guard. He looked in the mirror and then bent down and hid under the bed. Mary began to tremble. Suddenly a pair of hands grabbed her. She tried to get out, but the door was still locked. When she woke up again, she didn't know where she had been tied up. Behind her was the murderer who was holding her. She had a bottle of pills stuck in her hand. She cried out in despair. The murderer touched Mary's head like a toy. She found the right moment to bite his ear. Then she grabbed the anesthetic and inserted it into the killer's hand. She took the opportunity to run down the stairs. Finally, she hid inside a room. The window inside was also blocked, and she had no choice but to lock the door behind her. The murderer searched room by room. He took out the key and turned the lock. He slowly approached her, ready to use the axe to cut off her hand, but accidentally they were both pinned under the cabinet.